Now here's something you don't see every day. This is a male noble false widow and he's a big one. Some of them are quite big and it's in the poly tunnel and it's too hot. So it's come out now and it's over here. Males tend to wander around but they're kind of like the females. They, they have longer legs than the females. They're nearly as big as the females and some of them get live quite a long time and learn how to actually mate with the females and survive. And I've actually seen and recorded this on video. And they have those markings as well, which you can see, that are kind of distinctive. But in here now it's actually 40 something degrees, or actually probably close to 50 degrees. And the spider is too hot. That's come out from there. There's a little junction there. It may have been trying to win over a female, although it's still a little early in the year. Uh, I'm holding this one-handed, trying to keep my balance at the same time. But yeah, that's a big male noble false widow. They have that sort of, uh, uh, what would you call it, sort of uh, amber-coloured legs. And the female, the body is similar to the females, but much smaller. The, the thorax is huge and powerful. And they're not really a fast-running spider, they're a climbing spider, whereas Stay at home to gross and now the male is actually a running spider and he never gets as big as this But the male say to gross actually almost looks like a house spider running around and can easily be mistaken for one uh, other than the markings on his back and a very fast spider whereas this one is a slow climbing spider We we'll go a bit closer now, but you can see the shiny eyes And of course they look very sinister, the males. Now I, I don't know if the males bite, it wouldn't surprise me if they were able to. Uh, but I've never been bitten by one, but they, they are actually in many ways more impressive than the females. They have longer legs than the females and they're able to hold the female off and mate. A lot of them do get eaten by the female during mating, but uh, a lot of them survive. And the bigger they get usually means the more uh, the more skilled they are at mating and not being eaten as they live to mate more than once. Sometimes they live for a few years and some can get... Now this one would be probably about as big as you'll ever see. Yeah, it's a good big one. So that's the male noble false widow in an incredible heat. I'm wilting my camera, I think it's going to conk out. Uh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm, the sweat is starting to roll down my forehead and into my eyes. That's how hot it is. Uh, it's just really, really, really hot. That's him really close up. The camera is very close now. And he's just really hot. And, uh, There you go. That's the male Stetoda nobilis, the noble false widow spider. And I do not know if, how venomous they are, but it seems that the female is anyway almost, or in fact, as venomous as uh, the classic black widow, North American black widow spider. We now know. Anyway. And this is the male Steatoda grossa, which is of course a running spider. He's more like a house spider. I rescued him from the bathroom just now. They do move around certain times of the year, so... There you go. See, he likes to run. He's not like the female. And he's not like the male Stetoda nobilis, so I'll let him off here. There he goes. And he runs, he's a real runner. 
You could mistake him for a house spider very easily. I'm in my own light here. See, he really runs. Very different to stay at home to nobles. And very different to, and that one's a decent size one. But very much like a house spider. And he starts to run around looking for females. I mean, the other one travels around looking for females as well, but he doesn't run like that. 